Hey guys, it's Steph from Creating Time for Life. So recently I was scrolling around on Facebook and somebody in one of the digital planning platforms had said or groups had said something about Notion. Um, Notion is absolutely awesome. And one of the things that they said was, okay, I'm going to go, you know, change everything over to Notion, um, which, hey, yes, you totally can. Um, Notion is one of those things. It's been around for a couple years, but it's starting to gain a little bit more traction as people play with it and as people are learning more about it. Um, and it's, it's really awesome. It is very, very cool. I use it in two ways currently. So my first way that I'm going to walk you through today is I use it for the blog and I use it as kind of a catch all for my workflow for the blog. Um, it just can house a lot of different things, right? It really can. So the other way that I'm using it, and this is kind of a preview of something that's coming down the pipe. If you follow me on Instagram, you know that I recently finished the book, um, Building a Second Brain by Tiago Forte. And it was very interesting to me. Um, on Instagram, I have kind of a video series of what my takeaways have been. And I fully admit I'm reading it again. Like I finished it and then it hasn't even been a week and I'm already um, reading it again because I feel like I missed stuff. Um, and I loved it. I thought that it was super interesting and I thought that there were a lot of valuable things to it. So I'm also using Notion for my second brain. And in this video, I show you a little tiny snippet of that. But upcoming here on YouTube, I am gonna walk through building my second brain and doing different things to create that second brain. Because I found that there are a lot of really, really professional people that are creating these second brains and these videos showing off these like massive things. But the thing that I'm not finding is like a beginner person walking through what they're doing. And I find value in that, and I hope you find value in that. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of coming down the pipe, me building my second brain. Like I said in this video, you guys are gonna see a little bit of that as well. Um, but mostly I wanna show you how my workflow works for creating time for life and what I keep in Notion um, within that workflow. It's just a great place for um, a lot of different things. So let's check it out. All right, so this is my creating time for life workflow, and this is ever changing. So one of the things that's great about Notion is that I can add to it, I can take away from it, um, and it just it just fits a whole bunch of things. You guys can see also I've started my um, I started my second brain as well. I'm super excited about my second brain. Um, I'm, I'm just really excited about it. I'm excited about all that it's going to do. Now, anyways, back to my creating time for life workflow, which is the point of this video. So on my workflow, um, you can see the very, very first thing, this is actually my content calendar. And I have several different views for this content calendar. It usually stays on one of these two views. So this is everything. Um, so this is everything that is on my content calendar, but I don't like viewing it in a table form. Um, I like viewing it as a calendar because I can um, do different things to it. Now, one of the great things about Notion is um, the flexibility as far as moving things. So let's say that um, I decide to move, um, move this blog post. I don't want to do it on the 13th. I want to do it on the 12th. Um, it does it. It moves everything over to the 12th. It's awesome. It's absolutely fantastic. So that's something that is super, super neat. Um, there are also different views. So I have this as my to-do calendar. So here has everything. So if you look at this week in particular, um, the second, third, and fourth, you guys can see um, there's a bunch of stuff there, but when I switch over to this view, there's nothing there. Well, that's because I'm already done with those things. Um, I have this view filtered, and that's one of the great things about Notion. I have it filtered so that if I were going in here, and I'll show you the difference, 
right here, it shows what my status is. So if I were to change that to not ready, then what happens is in my to-do calendar, it shows up as something that I need to get done. So it's almost like a task list as well as a content calendar, which I think is super cool because it saves me a lot of time. So I'm gonna um, put that back there. So now I know, and these are actually pins that I, I move it at the end of the day. That's just me trying to keep track of my pins. Um, and you'll see I don't have anything here. That's because I haven't really thought about it. <laughs> um, so that's super cool. I can also do um, the status of things like this. I don't typically do this. In fact, I'm even going to delete that view because I don't ever use that view. So I'm going to delete it. Um, but board by type, it can show um, all the blog posts that I've done. It can show the carousels. It can show the Instagram posts. Um, this is really for me to see what am I doing a lot of, what am I not doing a lot of. Um, and you can filter a bunch of things. So if I wanted to um, filter it for, um, if I wanted to filter it for October, so if I sort it by date, I'm gonna add my sort. I can do a sort by ascending, cool. I don't actually want it by descending. Um, that shows me that. And then let's say that I filter out Oh, hold on. Date is within. Sorry. Starting on the 1st, ending on the 31st. So now this shows me um, for the month of October, um, how many blog posts am I planning on doing? What digital products am I going to be working on? So that kind of just gives a lot of different ways to view your data for content, which I thought was super cool. And I'm going to switch it back to my calendar here. So that's usually the default view that I have it on. Now down here, what I've got is I use, most of you know that I use Todoist. That's my favorite task manager. And one of the great things about Todoist is that I can embed it into Notion. So this is just an embed block. And I took my Todoist and I took my Creating Time for Life project, which is where I keep all of my tasks and I embedded that address in here and then my to-do list comes up right here, which is super cool. Then over here, these are really, really neat. So what Notion can do is um, you can kind of hide things to make things look pretty. Um, you can expand things, but one of the things that's awesome is um, these different blocks. So this is a um, template button and in this template button what I have is a checklist of when I create a digital notebook what are the tasks that I need to complete now I'm gonna admit that this is probably going to be going away soon because I am building this into my um, my second brain because I'm noticing that there's kind of a disconnect and I don't tend to do a lot of stuff in here um, just because it's on my it's on my task list here and my ideas and things are more now going into my second brain so that's going to change however what's not going to change is the ability to have different templates that automatically configure things which is just a smart way to work so this is what happens if i hit this plus button this new thing pops up and let's say that i'm working on a new digital notebook now I might change it and I might say um, teacher palette two, which you know I already have up there. Um, so now I've got this and I can minimize it. I can make my dashboard a little bit cleaner, which is super cool. So that's one thing that I definitely love about it is that you can create a lot of different templates within things to work. Let me show you an example in my second brain really quick because I think that that's super fun. So if I do something new, I have a few um, templates right now that I've worked on. So if I want to do a new blog post and I click on that, um, now I've got kind of this idea of things already ready to go. So I've got a task list of what things I need to do for that blog post. 
I have different titles that I want to do and keywords and stuff. So that's just an example of what Notion can do as far as um, creating those templates. Now I don't need that, so I'm going to put that away. Um, so back to my creating time for life. Now, if I scroll down here, which is super fun, um, I've got my freebies section. Now I'm a visual person, so this is where um, my freebies and my digital products list. Oh man, guys, I love a good gallery view because I can visually see my products and quickly access something a lot faster than it would take me to read it. So I can do it in this table view and I can try to find everything and I can search through it. Um, but that's harder, that takes a lot longer. Instead, if I'm like, oh man, I forgot, what's the price of those productivity printables? I can click on it and then it shows up. It gives me my links that I use. This is especially handy for when I'm trying to pin something. Um, so I just love the gallery views for things. Um, and you can just keep adding information. That's the thing that I like about it is that the amount of information that I can add in is just awesome. So for example, for this, I put what the type is. Um, I've got the URL of my convert kit form, my landing page for it. Um, I put in the image URL and this image is not actually stored in Notion. What I did was I took the image URL um, from my website and I put it in there. So it's not taking up a whole bunch of space. It doesn't take a bajillion times to, um, or a bajillion seconds to load. So that's that. And then I've got down here a blog post master list um, that shows what my blog posts are, the date I published them, the labels that I gave, any freebies that are linked in the post or products that are linked in the post, what my keyword is, um, what the actual URL is, when was the last time that I updated it, did I pin it recently, um, and then this I actually just added in a couple weeks ago because I was noticing that I was taking too long to find my pin um, in Canva. So what I ended up doing was I put the Canva link into here. So now if I'm ever like, oh man, I want that blog post to get a little bit more traction. I want to create some more pins from that. Now, if I click on it, this is what happens. It pops up, it goes right to that URL and I can edit it in there, which is super, super cool, right? Oh man, that's super awesome. Okay, back to here. So um, again, I've added things in after the fact. All right, so as I view things and as I say, hey, you know what, it would be really cool for me to have this. Um, then I just add it into the database, which is super fun. Um, I've got some keywords going on here. I might actually change that. Um, I think I'm gonna just have it be general keywords and then kind of tag it for um, the pin, tag it for Pinterest, tag it for Google and whatnot. And then down here, I've got a Pinterest tracker that tells me when the last time I, I pinned something was, um, the URL that it went to, all that different fun stuff. And then I've got a list of YouTube videos that I need to add to now. So this is my creating time for life workflow. You guys can see there's a lot of different things that Notion has to offer. Um, and I, I love it. All right, so hopefully that kind of gave you a preview of a bunch of different things that Notion can do. Um, there was a lot of different databases that I used in there and um, my building a second brain. There's a lot of databases, but there's also a lot of different pages in there um, that I'm using as well. So I'm hoping that you come back soon to view some of that building a second brain stuff. I hope that this gave you some value to just see what some of the things that Notion has to offer are and how different people use it. Um, yeah, I hope that you had a great time watching and I hope you learned something and I hope you have an awesome rest of your day and go do extraordinary things and I hope to see you soon. Bye.